You guys asked for it, so here it is. I'm gonna show you how to get this blue brow. So let's get started. I'll be using these three Kat Von D ink liners. The colors are Niche, Nerdrum, and Baudelaire. I'm starting out with Nerdrum, and I'm drawing a line under the brow. This is gonna be the base for the shape that we want. Becky, you should let me do the whole, the whole voiceover. Alright, go ahead. Okay, so you line the eyebrows. That's <laughs> so. Okay. Anyway, the next thing I'm doing is I am drawing in some uh, slanted lines. And now I'm drawing it in the front of the brow and I'm going to draw in some more vertical hair like strokes. So the next thing I'm doing is I am drawing a line on the top part of the brow and I'm, you know, following my arch. Okay, so next what I'm doing is I'm pulling both of those lines until they meet in the outer part of the brow, the tail. Then I'm just gonna start flicking the product in to fill it in, but make it look more natural. Then flick in some hair like strokes towards the front of the brow. This is all with Nerdrum. Next, I'm taking the Niche Liner and I'm flicking in some hair like strokes towards the front of the brow. And then I'll be moving into the middle of the brow. Okay, now jumping into Baudelaire, I'm further outlining that outer part of the tail and then I'm licking in some hair like strokes further outlining it and sorry this is not in focus but I'm outlining the bottom of the brow and then I'm continuing to flick in some lines and then doing the same thing throughout the whole brow Next, I'm taking NYX HD Concealer Wand in Porcelain with a Firma Beauty 203 Concealer Brush. I'm first applying that directly to under my brow and then I'm taking the concealer brush. I'm cleaning up the underside of the brow and pulling that concealer down as I go. Now, as you can see, this is quite tedious which is why I don't usually include my brows in videos because it just takes me way too long I think I spent 20 minutes on this when I was filming next taking my elf flawless concealer brush I will be blending all of that product out And then I pick up my Firma Beauty Concealer Brush again and I clean up any places that I feel like need it because I'm a perfectionist and OCD. Taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Fair with my Sigma F75 brush. I'm essentially doing the same thing except I'm carving out the top of the brow. I always have to carve out the top and bottom of my brows because it makes them look crisp. If I don't do this, it's like I'm missing something. So sorry I just dropped out of frame there. I realized my mistake and I came back up. So a lot of times I end up using too much. So you're going to see next where I have to go back in and add more product to the top. But I'm just blending that out with my Elf Flawless Concealer Brush and then tapping over that. And next, I'm taking my NYX HD Translucent Finishing Powder with my Elf Blush Brush and I'm applying that all over the skin. This really helps everything photograph really beautifully and smooth. So that's why I look like I have flawless skin in my photos. <laughs> And I just picked up the Niche Liner again, and I'm going over the front half of the brow. Then with Nerdrum, I'm drawing in some hair-like strokes. 
And then I'm going over where the arch is on the top and I'm just uh, extending it a little. I felt like it was too thin in a weird shape line. So now I have picked up Baudelaire and I took that concealer a little bit too high on the bottom of the brow before. So I'm just making that thicker down there. Only thing is when you go over concealer with these liners, they're not as opaque. So you kind of have to build it up. And then yes, I'm going back over it with some more concealer. And that guys is the finished brow.